Are you a crocheter that is annoyed about these bumps here on the side? You know exactly which one is your first and last stitch, but you're getting these weird bumps here. How do I make it completely straight? I really don't like this. Well, let me show you how to do that for single crochets and half double crochets. It is so much easier than you might think, and it is a super easy trick. I call this smooth edges. So let's make some smooth edges and make your crochet look incredible. So you may have been taught how to do a turning chain at the beginning of a row. So we're still going to focus on the normal turning chains that we're skipping here when we're doing a single crochet or half double crochet. In this case, we're skipping one chain right here to do a row of single crochets. However, at the end of the first row, we're going to do a new little trick. And this is how I create my smooth edges. You can call it straight edges if you like. I call it smooth edges because I have another tutorial that's called straight edges for beginners. So here we go. In order to make a single crochet row without that weird little bump that you always see on the side, all you gotta do is skip that turning chain. Yes, literally skip it. So that's what I do. I skip it. If you worried about not knowing which is your first stitch, feel free to use a stitch marker like this and just hang it on there so you know exactly which one is your first stitch. Now let's just finish up that row with just single crochets. And all I did was skipping that first chain that is the turning chain very often being used for single crochets. Now I'm going to turn and as you can see already, it's fairly straight. And again, we're going to simply skip that first chain. You're going to do exactly the same thing for half double crochets because half double crochet is just slightly bigger than a single crochet. But I'm going to make my loop just slightly bigger. Again, we're skipping our chain and simply doing our half double crochet. Yes, I'm just simply skipping it. And again, you can use a stitch marker to mark your stitches. So you are actually practicing and making sure where is my stitch so you know exactly which one is your first and last stitch. Especially if you've never done this trick before, you might not remember where it is. So that's totally fine. Just use a stitch marker and mark it. And here we go, we're going to continue our row with just half double crochets. And all I did is skip the chain of one for both half double crochet and single crochet. And let me show you the difference between doing a chain and not doing a chain. So as you can see here, I'm gonna bend this over. Look how straight this is. Literally on both sides, completely straight, okay? So I need to pull this over a little bit because you know, it's a half double crochet, but yes, it is completely straight on both sides. Now, if you look at my project right here, you see those big bumps. Can you see this? Look at this bump. Look at this bump. Look at this bump. Yes, this top row is double crochet, but down here it's single crochet and half double crochet and there are some bumps and I don't like those at all. Look at this one. I'm gonna move this to the side. You can see there's no bump. It's completely straight. So let me repeat one more time really quick. When you do single crochets and half double crochets, don't do a turning chain if you want completely straight and smooth edges. Try it out and let me know if you like this trick. If you want to learn more tricks and how to make your crochet better and understand how to make certain things even more incredible looking than before, come join my crochet club. It's called The Crochet Club. There's a link down below in the description. Come join us. It is a really fun, amazing membership just for crocheters with an awesome community. I hope you join us. If not, just check out the written tutorial that I have for this specific video. And if you would like to know how to get smooth edges with double crochet, treble crochet, or anything bigger, go check out that other video. It's down below in the description and also at the end of this video. And it's going to tell you how to do the alternative turning chain. So check that out if you need it for, if you need straight edges or smooth edges for double crochet or anything bigger. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more amazing videos all about crocheting. I hope to see you next time. Until then, bye.